Hey, did you know that the UK landed a Soviet spy satellite in eastern England? Crashed it into the ground, took it apart, took out the film, examined how the satellite worked, flew it to RAF Makrahanish and returned it to the Soviet Union. That is a fantastic secret story. But did it really happen? That's what we are going to examine. We've got a fantastic report from a senior British engineer who actually looks at the nuts and bolts, the practical ways that a satellite might be deorbited and crash into Suffolk. Yes, you heard me right, Suffolk, England. Rendlesham Forest, of course. The airspace was shot over East Anglia. A group of Navy boats were out in a line in the North Sea, and this Soviet spy satellite was deliberately deorbited and landed in Rendlesham Forest. You're in for a treat. The information about how they might have done it, the information about what actually happened, who saw it, is fascinating. It's going to come out later this week. I've got one more interview to do on Wednesday night and then editing and hopefully it will hit your tiny screen by the weekend. If you like secret stuff, if you like Cold War technology, this is really top gun. And I'm going to leave you with a teaser. John Burroughs, U.S. citizen, did a freedom of information request to the U.S. State Department. Was there a diplomatic incident involving a satellite in the 1980s? And they confirmed, yes. So stay tuned here for a cracker. Subscribe so you'll get a notification. I suspect it'll be at this weekend. Randlesham crash. International incident. We're very proud of it and I hope you find it fascinating.